Taurus, this is Solomon. I want to welcome you to your weekly reading for the week of February the 20th to the 26th of 2017. All right, so for for this week until the 21st of March is starting out, the sun will be in Pisces and is activating energies in your 11th house of, of friendships. You know, um, good activities around friends. You may be uh, receiving some kind of uh, calls to hang out. Um, it could be some disgruntled energies around friendships as well. So those are some kind of things that you may be facing um, when it comes to who is serving you in your life, who's helping you out, um, who you may want to be around, new friendships to help you out with your dreams and goals and things like that. So that may come under some type of evaluation. So uh, let's tap into energies for you for Monday through Sunday. Great energies for and we got Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday. And then we have Friday to Sunday. Hmm. Okay. So, Monday and Tuesday. We do have. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I was. So Monday and Tuesday, we do have the moon in Sagittarius, and that's bringing out your eighth house of a death transformation and rebirth so it's how you actually handle whatever kind of transformation and energies that you want to um change within if you're going through a lot of healing a lot of healing pains and things like that so initially we have the uh, six of pentacles in reverse we have the three of wands in reverse and then we have the king of wands in reverse so a lot of you could be feeling um in depth you know, you may have been spending a lot of money, and this could have come through last weekend. There could have been a lot of activities going around, you know, Valentine's, um, call that one, that's not, not a holiday, but it's a, it's, a, it's a day, okay, a day of love. So you may have been spending some time or spending on your romantic partner and put yourself in depth uh, for some of you. Some of you may be um, feeling that uh, your significant other is possibly a selfish with you. Uh, when it comes to your relationship, you know, not really working together and building. Some of you may be feeling as though you're not really a leader at this time. You're not really sure how to um, approach your ideas at this time. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo who is in the reverse position. And this person may be kind of aloof, um, running away from you if you're trying to communicate with them. Um, they may not be emotionally available right now. And uh, sometimes this is coming through where there's some kind of um, selfishness in a relationship. Uh, you know, just too much spending, a lot of over investments in just the relationship itself and not giving enough energy uh, to you, you know, focusing on yourself at this time. So there are some blockages to the future, you know, just not building together in many different ways. So you do have the six, seven, eight, nine. So again, the nine is about nearing completion near completion getting closer to ending of cycles that you have been going through with this kind of karmic connection that you have with some and it doesn't have to be aries um leo or sagittarius could be any other uh sign um, but i do feel like this person can be a bully sometimes very harsh and arrogant and a bit selfish at times with pompous <laughs> you can call them many different things but uh, you may know who this person um, is because of these financial um, the pinnacles here. It could be someone that's on a job. It could be a manager, co-worker, um, anything like that, supervisor. just depends. Okay, so that's uh, Monday and Tuesday. So Wednesday and Thursday, we have the uh, moon in Capricorn. That's bringing out your ninth house of spirituality, mental exploration, higher learning, long distance travel, and 
uh, you know, you may be reading and writing about different things and expressing yourself uh, in many different ways. So we have here the nine of wands. You have the eight of pentacles in reverse. And then we have the four of cups in reverse. So it's like you're looking back at this um, fire sign, whoever this person may be. And you may be a bit defensive um, uh, with them. I do feel like uh, you may have some things that you want to say to them. You may be feeling a bit hurt uh, by them. Some of you are being distracted right now, possibly. You're not working. Uh, you may be looking for a new job. You may not be studying as um, you would need to to learn something new. It's something that you're not really working hard at. And I do feel like some of you may have some missed opportunities when it comes to a new job, you know, new ideas uh, in a relationship. Somebody is possibly not putting in enough um, effort into the relationship, you know, working on themselves or giving their part to it. So that's possibly why you're a bit defensive in this scenario. And if someone has come to you and told you that you're not giving your part in the um, relationship, maybe because you're not ready, um, you could be feeling a bit defensive and you're having some things that you want to say to them. So the four of, uh, of cups is like sometimes you may have a fear of a new missed opportunity in a relationships, in a career opportunity or and just getting things off the ground. So there's some uh, defensive energy around that. All right. So that is Wednesday and Thursday. All right. So Friday and Saturday. All right. We do have the moon in Aquarius and it's bringing out your 10th house of career, uh, public status, career goals, new opportunities and activities within your community, providing your talents and outward expression. So we have here the 10 of cups. We have the ace of pentacles in reverse and then we have the knight of cups in reverse. So there is uh, this happy relationship that's there. There is possibly a new relationship. Um, there is emotional fulfillment that's there, but there's something getting in the way of it. Maybe some um, a lot of spinning. As you remember, that Six of Pentacles there was in reverse. And that's that um, spinning habits not being um, acknowledged, uh, bad spinning habits. And then you have the Knight of Cups in reverse. So this is some kind of a messages of love really not coming through. Jealousy inside of a relationship where there's some resentment, some possessiveness, um, assumptions going on. You could be dealing with the Pisces Scorpio Cancer. Uh, some of you could be feeling a bit let down, could, could have felt uh, dumped or hurt. Um, so this is like some kind of sorrow and sadness and uh, that you've been hurt by in a relationship. And it could have to do with some money issues where someone's kind of possibly being selfish, you know, not uh, holding up their end of the bargain, so to speak, in a commitment or in a, in a bond or in a marriage, okay? This could be those kind of issues where uh, someone is not making enough money, um, spending too much, and not finding that balance to, you know, keep the relationship going, you know, having, um, being able to take care of the kids and pay your bills and do different things like that where you can keep this kind of energy going, the um, this rainbow, these uh, cups being filled. So there's something going on there that's not very pleasing for some of you. So you can be dealing with that. So that... Um, that new moon, which will be an eclipse on uh, the 26th, is um, in Pisces. So that's bringing out that energy of your 11th house of um, friendships and things. So this could be around friendships, some, some kind of uh, jealousy around friendships, some um, um, arguments or different things like that. That's possible. But this does look like a, a relationship thing. So two cup cards and then some pinnacles. So emotionally up and down and then some problems with spending habits. So let's see what the uh, romance angels have for you uh for this week what are these for first romance angels what is your good tours it says playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so this is uh in a relationship if you're not very playful if you're uptight if you're getting to know someone new and you're kind of holding back you're reluctant to open up to be a bit more spontaneous and open to new um, experiences with your partner or new potential or something like that or even in your marriage you need to kind of open up be a bit more playful and acknowledge that uh, kind of a jovial spirit that needs to kind of be brightened within you so you're not kind of down and depressed and 
uh, feeling kind of dark or alone or whatever you may be feeling. So playfulness is something that you need to capture. All right. So I hope that these messages resonate with your situation this week. If you would like a private reading, you can always come to me by my Facebook page or you can email me to set something up that's going to be specific for you. All right. Much love and much light, Taurus.